guys how's it going hopefully it's you guys doing very well and today is we are going to spend a little bit time with english grammar online center and today is we are going to uh, learn about uh, relative classes that's really important especially when we are uh, speaking english or when we are you know writing english is really important as well look at this uh, uh, beautiful picture there's a lot of people is there so, uh, who are having a dinner with a lovely smiling doesn't it but uh, i saw my professor and uh, i actually had a professor that dined there and saw uh, james joyce yeah a relative clause uh, how do we use a relative clause uh, what what things what kind of information relative uh, relative clauses uh, you know tells us about uh, the sentence or or how relative clause is really important for important for us so we use relative clauses to give extra information about some things without starting a new sentence or and repeating the words uh, so we're gonna say uh, now we are now we are going to have a look at this example a both a new house which is very big uh, first of all we have this sentence above a new house and the another one is it is very big so we have these two, two sentences and we are going to use a relative pronoun to combine this sentence and now we 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 have above a new house which is very big okay in order to make a relative uh, clauses uh, we have many as words but such as you know, who whom which and that so on uh, yeah, a uh, uh, place. But in mind that the relative pronoun can be the subject or object of a defining relative clause as well. Uh, relative pronouns are as the uh, as the subject. If the relative pronoun is the subject. Uh, the relative clause can come either after the subject or the object of the sentence and uh, we cannot drop the relative pronoun for example i have a look at this sentence yes and uh, a relative clause after the subject of the sentence have a look at this beautiful picture the people who sing in this place are very friendly. In this sentence, the people is it a subject, and who is the relative pronoun, which refer to the people, and who sing in this place are very friendly, a relative class. And uh, as we, uh, as I said before. Uh, let's look at another example. We have a relative clause after the object of the sentence. For instance, a any package which arrived 20 days later. In this sentence, package is the subject, therefore, which as a relative a pronoun is the subject of this clause. However, in the complete sentence, as in a package which arrived 20 days later, package is the object. So, the relative clause which arrived 20 days later comes after the object of the sentence, which is the package. 
and uh, now we are going to talk about a hose a hose is always the subject of the relative clause and can't be left out it replaces a possessive and can be used both for people and things as well I have a look at this sentence the woman is coming tonight her car is BMW the woman whose car is BMW is coming tonight now we we are going to see uh, how to use horse for the things as well the house belong to me it roof is very old the house horse roof is old it belong to me so as I said before we can use horse for people or things and uh, as a relative pronoun as the object if the relative pronoun is the object the relative clause can also come either after the the subject or the object of the sentence but the difference is now you know we can draw uh, the relative pronoun if we want to so we're gonna have a look at some uh, sentence and uh, uh, we can really understand and uh, now a close after the subject of the sentence and this is the university the university which she like to apply for is very famous so in the first sentence we keep the relative pronoun which okay have a look at the another sentence where we can also draw which by saying that university she like to apply for is very famous and this is the is the picture uh, Sam met a woman who I went to school with. In this sentence, as I said before, close after object. So the object in this sentence is a woman. And who I went to school with is the class. I think you guys really understand. Verbs with uh, prepositions. Uh, please note that if the verb in the relative clause needs a preposition, we put it either at the end of the uh, clause or before the relative pronoun. Okay, have a look at this uh, example. We say that we can use a, a preposition in a sentence and it we come before uh, the relative pronoun the job is well paid she applied for the job the job which she applied for is well paid now we are going to use a proposition for these two sentences the job for which she applied is well paid thank you so much uh, thank you guys so much uh, thank you for uh, spending these times with English grammar on centers and hopefully we can see each other soon and uh, I love you guys always and it's my pleasure cheers mate